Catherine Austin Fitz, a Wall Street insider who had also worked as Assistant Secretary of Housing under the first President George Bush, detailed how vastly street drugs prop up various corporate stocks. She evolved politically and tried to expose this, such as in this article in Narco News, in which she details how several street-level drug dealers each make at least several hundred dollars a day, 250 days a year, equaling a net of at least $100,000 a year for their supplier. Fitz said this money is laundered by establishments dealing in cash. These include restaurants and banks who hide the cash in their accounting ledgers as money received legitimately, and then return the money to the higher-level dealers in a way that makes their money appear legally earned. Fitz said that these banks and restaurant chains on the stock exchange increase their stock values by 20 to 30 times and turn a $100,000 profit into a 2 to $3 million profit of stock value. Thus, the radicalization of the 3,000-member Latin Kings alone cost the money launderers billions of dollars. One of the ways that we've financed the growth of multinational corporations and big banks and the rise of the Dow Jones is by selling narcotics to our children. It's one of the most profitable businesses in America. And at, towards the end, we were discussing the fact that the Department of Justice estimates that the United States is the leader in laundering organized crime profits of about $500 billion to a trillion dollars a year. So I asked the audience, what would happen if we stopped being the worldwide leader in laundering $500 billion to a trillion a year? And uh, they said, well, you know, if we stopped, our mutual funds would go down in price, the stock market would crash. President Bush, the